Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in our celebration of this Eucharist this morning, we are able to appreciate God's beautiful and wonderful design for our lives. And so to thank God in this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sinfulness and also acknowledge the infinite mercy and forgiveness of our Lord. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second book of Samuel. After Nathan had spoken to King David, the king went in and sat before the Lord and said, Who am I, Lord, and who are the members of my house that you have brought me to this point? Yet, even this you see as too little, Lord God. You have also spoken of the house of your servant for a long time to come. This too you have shown to man, Lord God. You have established for yourself your people Israel as yours forever, and you, Lord, have become their God. And now, Lord God, Confirm for all time the prophecy you have made concerning your servant and his house, and do as you have promised. Your name will be forever great when men say, The Lord of hosts is God of Israel, and the house of your servant David stands firm before you. It is you, Lord of hosts, God of Israel, who said in a revelation to your servant, I will build a house for you. Therefore, your servant now finds the courage to make this prayer to you. And now, Lord God, you are God and your words are truth. You have made this generous promise to your servant. Do then, bless the house of your servant, that it that it may be before you forever. For you, Lord God, have promised, and by your blessing, the house of your servant shall be blessed forever. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. Lord, remember David and all his anxious care, how he swore an oath to the Lord, vowed to the mighty one of Jacob. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. I will not enter the house where I live, nor lie on the couch where I sleep. I will give my eyes no sleep, my eyelids no rest, till I find a home for the Lord, a dwelling for the mighty one of Jacob. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. The Lord swore an oath to David, a firm promise from which he will not withdraw. Your own offspring I will set upon your throne. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. If your sons keep my covenant and the decrees which I shall teach them, their sons too forever shall sit upon your throne. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He prefers her for his dwelling. Zion is my resting place forever. In her I will dwell, for I prefer her. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. Please stand.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Is a lamp brought in to be placed under a bushel basket or under a bed, and not to be placed on a lampstand? For there is nothing hidden except to be made visible. Nothing is secret except to come to light. Anyone who has ears to hear ought to hear. He also told them, Take care what you hear. The measure with which you measure will be measured out to you, and still more will be given to you. To the one who has, more will be given. From the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Our Lord Jesus Christ promised in the Gospel today that to the one who has, more will be given. We have already received grace from God, but Jesus promises more will be given to you. Jesus teaches us today that in God's design, there is always something more, something more to the grace of God, something more prepared for us, something more to come. Jesus uses the example of a lamp in our gospel passage today. He said, if a lamp is brought in within a room, will you hide it under a bed? Will you hide it under a basket? Jesus reminds us today that there is something more to that lamp. The lamp should not be hidden. If you are given a lamp, discover and look. There is something more to that lamp. And that lamp is to be put, placed on a lampstand so that it could reveal and make visible the light within the room. My dear brothers and sisters, in God's design, there is always something more. In our first reading today, we hear the prayer of King David to God. And King David acknowledges, Yes, Lord, you have already given me a lot. I am but a simple shepherd, too little, he said but you have given me your covenant. You made me a king. You gave me a kingdom. But David, in his prayer, continuously said, but Lord, I know you have prepared something more for me and that you will fulfill that promise for me. Even if David has not yet seen his descendants, David believed in his heart that there is always something more, that God has prepared something more for him. My dear brothers and sisters, in our celebration of the Eucharist this morning, Jesus assures us that more will be given to us. 
there is always something more in God's design. There is something more to God's grace. There is something more in you that God will make flourish in His design. Mga minamahal na kapatid, sinasabi ng ating mga pagbasa ngayong araw, laging may hinakandang higit pa ang Diyos. May tinanggap na tayong mga biyaya, pero mayroon pang higit na inihanda ang Diyos para sa atin. May binigay bang biyaya ang Diyos sa inyo? Mayroon pang higit na kahulugan ang biyaya na yan na kailangang lumabas upang ito ay maging biyaya rin sa iba. Baka hindi mo lang nakikita pero mayroon pang higit na gagawin ang Diyos sa buhay natin. My dear brothers and sisters, today the readings remind us that in God's wonderful design, there is always something more. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray to God, the Father of light, that we may be faithful to our vocation to become light of the world. For every petition, let us say, Father of goodness, shine on us. Father of goodness, shine on us. That the church, the people of God, may become a great light shining in the darkness of this world. Let us pray to the Lord, Father, Father of, of goodness, goodness shine, shine on, on us. us, that the leaders of the world may bring rays of hope in the lives of those who suffer. Let us pray to the Lord, Father, Father of, of goodness, goodness shine, shine on, on us. us, that Christians may be like light on a mountaintop, guiding people in their journey to God. Let us pray to the Lord, Father, Father of, of goodness, goodness, shine on, on us, that the sick, the old, and the neglected may continue to hope because of the light shown by those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord, Father, Father of, of goodness, goodness, shine, shine on, on us, us, that eternal light may shine on our departed loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord, Father of goodness, shine on us. God, our Father, give us new awareness and strength to be committed to the service of our brothers and sisters so that we may let your light shine toward all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name. 
for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Rest in God alone, my salvation. 
salvation comes from Him. He alone is my rock, my salvation, my fortress. I shall never be afraid. I shall never be afraid. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Isa'y nakita Maria 